Alright, so uh, today we're gonna have a look at how to write for a person or a brand that isn't you. Today I'm in a hotel lobby and uh, it feels always kind of awkward to record in public, but yeah. The first advice that I would want to give you is to take one of the texts from this person or this brand, like a brand uh, um, tonality, something like that, and uh, then you or the persons, uh, the, the person you're writing for, you take their uh, some kind of personal thing they've written, something from an email that they've written, just take something that they've actually written and you plug that into IBM Watson's personality insight and you do this just as a benchmark for the text that you're gonna write because you don't want this, you know, you don't want to get this person exposed once you've actually written the text. You want it to be the person or the brand's voice and personality that shines through. You don't want an AI to be able to spot that it's a shadow writer who does it for them. The second thing you do is you go and uh, stand in front of the mirror and you pretend to be this person or brand. So that's the second thing you do. You uh, actually do some acting because that will get you into the role and start making you feel like it. Try to make their face your face, so to speak. So that's number two, before you even start writing. Then you start writing and once you've written, you start reading your text out loud in a voice that a uh, you think is this person's voice or this brand's voice so you start speaking out loud so that's the third thing to do to read your own text out loud to yourself it also helps with readability for the end user that's a good thing you know if they can read it and not get stuck reading it out loud actually helps you a lot with that the fourth thing you do is that you go back to IBM Watson and you paste uh, your text that you've written into their personality insight engine and you check whether or not you've hit the right personality or not if it's a completely different person then you will probably end up getting the feedback which is the next stage and you'll probably get that wrong so you better just check off the personality so that fits your person so that's step number four once you've written the text you check whether or not this is in line with the person's personality and then we got number five and that is sending it to the person for feedback and if you get uh, any comments you know you just edit it but usually once you've completed steps one through four then you are in a good spot to get it okayed right away because it's in their language on their personality it is um, yeah it's a good text of course you know if you're a crappy writer you will not succeed anyhow but you're not so yeah those are the five uh, steps that I would like you to go through when you write for a person or a brand that isn't you. So if you like that video then you hit the like button and you share it to, to someone like a friend or someone you think should be watching it and uh, uh, yeah and make a comment about my my stash because it's new and ugly. Don't share this on your wall on Facebook. It's just too non-personal. I I have a book and and it's called The System. And I bought I, I, I spent seven years thinking about things and then I spent one month writing things. And as you can think, as you can understand. There was quite a mix-up because I only had a hundred